What's going on, you guys? Last week, I did that video on... Oh, by the way, this is what I look like when my face doesn't look like a giant berry. Nice, huh? Anyways, last week, I did the video on Sovereign School and what an adventure that was. This week, I have found the content that leads a lot of them down the rabbit hole. Today, I'm going to get to know my straw man, who I hope to name George. Anyways, wish me luck, guys, because here we go. All right, let's do this. Diplomatic Films presents some bullshit. Meet your straw man. All right. Ah, the government. It loves you and wants to keep you safe and well. Are you paranoid yet? Are you? We're working on that. It even wants to make paying taxes, fines, and court costs easier for you. Yeah, but we're How? here to shit all over well, that idea. Well, you'll need to meet your straw man. What's going on, bud? He was born the same day you were. He looks right. like you, He's has the same guy. name, and lives in your house, but you never knew he existed. Lives it, dude. First of all, this straw man is a freeloader. All right, just hanging out in my house thinking he could just stop by anytime he likes. He will have even paid his parking tickets or no, taxes. No, I didn't. What the worst freeloader. part? He's been dead from day one. From Paranoia and morbidity. Mor morbidity. All just rolled up into one. You paranoid yet? Hate the government yet? We're still working on that. All right. Every birth certificate, a legal personality, oh, or uh, legal fiction, is created with the same name. I could call something else fiction. To little old you into thinking it's you. That's because so, it is. There is a human you and a paper you, or as it's commonly known, a straw man. How the hell do these guys get dressed or eat food or do any of those things during the day? I mean, they get up and go, did I get up or did my straw man get up? Did I put on my shoes or did the straw man put on my shoes? Hi, you've reached my residence, but it's also my straw man's residence, so I want to know who I'm talking to. This is very... How do you... No wonder you guys can't get through a traffic stop. Seriously. <laughs> So when it seems like government officials, uh -huh. court clerks, or the police oh, are yeah. speaking English, they aren't. Yes, they are. They're speaking legalese. Well, they're speaking whatever language is native to, to the country. verbal and written contracts without even knowing about it. All spun from Black's Law Dictionary. No, don't you put down their favorite book. All right, you, you be nice. It's a good, it's a decent... Okay. <laughs> For example, yes. when the police say, do you understand, you'll say, yes. What they are or really no. saying is, do you stand under our authority? Do you agree to do this, do, you know? You know what? No. It's just easier to call that stupid. All right. Oopsie-daisy. You just created a verbal contract with them. Naughty, oh, naughty me. Oh, government. dear. <laughs> Did you know that whenever you register something, you are handing over a title to the person you register it with? Really? That's right. Whenever you register something with the government, they assume it belongs to them. Well, registered your no, car? It belongs Super. To you. Now My you heart? Are the registered keeper of your My vehicle, heart and the belongs can to crush them. It when you don't pay your um, They haven't even taken taxes. me out to dinner. Expecting Ooh. a new bundle of joy? Yeah. Oh. Well, then you need to register your little darling with a birth too. certificate. Then they can start to process all over again oh. and create a new straw man for your little one. Isn't that great? So what are you saying, all right? I can't register ownership and let the government know, hey, I own this thing, so that just in case it gets lost, maybe you could help me find it. What are you going to do? Waltz into these offices and go, hey, how you doing? I have a car. Okay, where's the registration for that? Uh, just take my word that I got it. That is a car thief's, like, dream, man. He could just, like... Walk up, take your car, and be like, yeah, you own it. <sighs> Just gonna have to take my word for it. And I don't want to register my kid. Why? I don't want my kid to have a birth certificate. How come? <laughs> it's especially important while they're, you know, a minor. I'm, I'm just saying. It hurts. It hurts me. Great. 
So when Junior grows up, yes. he'll be able to generate revenue just like you have. When you notify on your baby by signing the birth certificate, mm -hmm. your child becomes a ward of state. Wrong. And if the government doesn't like what you're doing, they'll assume it's okay to take the child away or make new rules for things they don't like. Not enough school? Smacking your child? No! Shouting too loudly? Then it's off to social services for the little one. When you get a bill, it's sent... There are these things called extreme cases, okay? That's when the government will intercede, all right? For the good of the child. If you ain't doing good at parenting, then yeah, I would hope that, you know, someone steps in and helps with that. I'm, I'm just saying, you know? Your video is not helping your case here, folks. You're basically saying, hey, shitty parent, no problem. It's all good, because you know what? You're not the one doing it, your paper pal is. Jeez. To you, but belongs to your straw man, not you. No, it That's belongs why to bills, me. That's why fines, and summons start with Mr., Mrs., or Ms. Sometimes you'll see your surname in capitals, just like on a gravestone. That's because your straw man is dead, and just a... I got nothing. I'm dead. Thank you for that emotional kick in the balls. I appreciate that. First you want me to be paranoid, and now you want me to be depressed on top of it. Thanks. <sighs> this silly piece of paper, created before you could comprehend or even consent to it. Holy when shit. you go to court, you represent your straw man. I represent so my you, oh. a human, take on any costs, fees, Taxes and fines involved for the straw man. Well, were you the one who messed up? It's even called taking responsibility. Them. But you made a contract with the court by appearing on behalf of your legal personality or straw man. Just like the government knew you would. Confused? No! Well, don't worry. The government doesn't want you to know anyway. If you knew, you'd stop paying things like council tax and parking tickets. No, I wouldn't. Because when you go to court, you are representing your straw man. I'm not. You are you alive and made of flesh and blood yeah your straw man or legal personality is a piece of paper created from your birth certificate and you think it's you <laughs> what a silly billy <laughs> okay okay let's use an example here Karen. That's what I'm going to call her, Karen. Uh, there are thousands and thousands of John Smiths in this world. Hundreds, thousands of them. But birth certificates, records, documentation, all of this exists so that, you know, not every guy named John Smith... You know, when they go, did John Smith commit this crime? Not everybody named John Smith stands up and goes, who exactly are you talking about? I'm talking about that guy that lives next door to that place that, you know, sells chili. If we went by you, 